Welcome back to Chapter 3, where I will show you around the reporting features available to you within Monday.com. For the purposes of this video, we assume you already have some experience working with Monday.com and therefore are aware of the building blocks making up a board, for example, the groups, the items, columns, sub-items, etc. If not, we recommend checking out some of our Getting Started resources, like our basic demo, which can be found on our Monday.com slash webinars page. Now, to build a report, you'll want to utilize a dashboard. There are two ways to do this. If you're looking to build a report using data from one single board, you can add the dashboard view to that board. So here's a single board. To add the dashboard view, you would click on the plus button next to the main table and select dashboard. This dashboard will pull its data from that specific board into the widgets which make up the dashboard. If you're looking to pull reports based on data from multiple boards, you'll want to add a new dashboard separate to the boards and then select the boards you need to pull data from. To do that, you would click on the plus add button underneath the workspace name and select new dashboard. Then you can choose your boards that you want to pull into and create done. Now this will allow you to pull data from multiple selected boards to create your reports. So whether or not you're using the dashboard view to report or a dashboard to report on multiple boards, you'll use widgets to visualize the data and show different sorts of metrics. When a dashboard is created, you'll see a display of the most common widgets for creating reports. Additionally, you can browse through our widget center by clicking add widget and viewing more widgets here. Now, some of the more common widgets are our battery widget, which is usually used to show the split of tasks based on a status, a chart widget to show any sort of metric in a graph or chart format, the Gantt widget, this is great for understanding project timelines, milestones, and dependencies. The calendar widget for seeing dates. The time tracking widget is a cool one to show the total time spent on a given task. We have our map widget to show multiple locations and their relation to one another. and our table widget to show your board or a version of your board. For example, with specific filters applied, the dashboard allows you to make changes directly from here as well. Now, one thing to note is that the reporting available on Monday.com is based on track data inside the boards. It is not based on the activity in the board. For example, you won't be able to report on the amount of time an item status was in a particular label or the amount of times the file was downloaded from a files column. In the next chapter, we're going to look at a use case for reporting on data in a single board. 